what's up you guys welcome back to my channel i missed you i'm giving you guys a virtual hug i miss you guys so much sorry i haven't so am i i hate it i hate it because then i get into like a really good rut where i'm like uploading consistently consistently doing this and that instagram this and then out of nowhere something happens and i just can't film and unfortunately my dog has been really really sick for the past like month i feel he's been no for the past three weeks he has been really really sick so that has kind of taken a toll on my life because he is my baby he is my best friend I've had him literally for 11 years it's insane I understand he's getting old and it's something you know hard for people to accept that you know they get old and they don't live as long as us which sucks because I wish he could be with me forever but he is pretty sick and he's a boxer so you know boxers are prone to lots of things when they get old so that has been preoccupying my mind because he isn't allowed to go upstairs anymore so he doesn't you know have to you know strain his muscles a lot he has to stay downstairs pretty much all day long so we all kind of take shifts going downstairs and spending time with him cuddling petting him letting him know he's loved and I get emotional talking about it because he is the love of my life and it sucks to see him like this and um you know that's kind of why I've been MIA and not really filming or editing I just don't have the spirits for it you guys I really don't yeah, I just want to let you guys know why I've been kind of MIA and kind of sad and just kind of like down lately. That is why. But anyways, in today's video, sorry, got sidetracked. In today's video, I wanted to test out the new Urban Decay Back Talk Palette, which comes with eyeshadow on one side and blush on the other side. So, oh, oh my God, that almost just fell and like destroyed. So it's like a duo multifunctional palette. So you got blushes and highlights up top eyeshadows on the bottom and then you also get a mirror which I took off but that is attachable and you can put in the center if you want to take this with you to travel and just kind of have a whole little kit of eyeshadow blushes and highlighters that you want to use so I wanted to test it out for you guys I did swatches I you know did application and I gave you guys my full thoughts at the end of the video and I also use a lot of Urban Decay products in this video I use their back talk lip gloss their back talk um lipstick and then their eyeliners as well so today is filled with urban decay so i hope you guys enjoy this video Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you guys want more review videos like this and also let me know what other type of videos that you guys want to see in the future and again i apologize for being so mia it's just like a really hard time for me and it's really hard for me to like smile and like come on camera and be happy but i'm working on it so yeah without further ado let's get right into this makeup tutorial all right, I'm going to start off by taking the color, let's see, sorry, my eyelid was like all crazy. I was like, wait, what happened to my eyelid? I'm going to start by taking the color Back Talk, which is the inspiration behind this palette based on their super popular lipstick. This is definitely like a mauve pink matte shade. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. So far, I have been so impressed with this palette. I kind of already started this eye because I wanted to practice before I started filming because I always do better when I practice before you guys otherwise I just make a mess well I'm gonna just kind of apply the eyeshadows and use this to kind of set my primer and I'm gonna start using this color on the eyelid I'm gonna kind of start at the base and then eventually work way work why <laughs> work my way up you guys I am going to apply this from corner to corner and then I kind of like to do this trick where I fold my eyelid like this when I don't want the color to get stuck in my crease and have that like ugly line that happens when there's eyeshadow stuck in there. So I kind of bend it and this allows the eyeshadow to like go over the crease area very smoothly with no issues. No se tora, you know, I just feel like that tip is very helpful. And I don't pull super hard because I don't want to, you know, get wrinkles or anything like that. But I just think this is so helpful if you don't want to get any eyeshadow stuck in there. Once you feel like you got like a good little something something going on, then you kind of want to dip into it a little bit more. And then lightly with like the lightest touch ever with like your little, your little fingers, you're going to blend this into the crease. But again, you want to have light touches so everything looks super... You know soft and feminine because I feel like this look that I'm going for is like a very feminine mauve look I feel like mauve colors always have that type of vibe like super girly so that's kind of what I'm going for so I want it to be as soft as possible 
Okay, so once you have something like this, I'm gonna dive into the color What the Fuck, which is a beautiful, like, burnt brown color. Guys, I swear the tones in this palette describe my personality. I love burnt, like, purples and oranges. And this is, like, a super pretty burnt type of, like, peanut butter shade. There's no shimmer in it whatsoever either, so this is perfect to apply into your crease because there is only a couple of limited shades that are matte in this palette. There's only one, two, there's only three matte shades and the rest of the palette, which are one, two, three, four, five of the shades are shimmers. So you kind of have to, you know, be creative with what you use. I mean, you can use one of the blushes as eyeshadow or you can dive into other eyeshadow palettes to create a full look. This one, I'm going to be applying this all over the lid as well. that and blend this into the crease I'm not gonna go above the Moavi back top color that I had just applied I'm gonna go underneath it and make sure there's like a nice transition of the brown and then the Moavi pink color Just like that, this just adds a lot of definition to the eye, kind of makes your eye socket stand out even more. If you guys don't have an eye socket, you can totally do this and kind of just deepen the crease to make it look like you guys have an eye socket. I love doing this technique, and I just feel like it really kind of adds a smokiness effect to it. Okay, so next we're just going to cut the crease. I'm just going to take a small little brush like these. These are so perfect for cutting the crease because they already kind of have a pointed tip. I don't know if you guys can see that. They already have a pointed tip, so it's perfect to kind of carve out the point of your crease. And they're very flat, and they're for concealer. This one is a number 11 brush from BH Cosmetics, the Carnival set. And I'm just going to cut my crease using the Clinique 2-in-1 Beyond Perfecting Concealer and Foundation. I've switched over to this one. I used to use the Tarte Shape Tape, you guys, but I had to take a break. I was like, ya no mas, ya no puedo. I felt like it was way too thick on my eyelid, especially if I wanted to cut it. So I'm going to switch over to this one, and I've actually really liked how it works better, and I feel like it's not as cakey, so that it doesn't kind of create like a weird paste on your eyelid. So yeah, I'm going to use this to kind of cut the crease from the inner part of my eye, like how I have it here, and then to the outer part, just to kind of do a little bit of a halo eye, but leave a gap in the inner corner there. And then also later we're going to re-blend this. I was just kind of practicing here, so... Okay, so then I went ahead and I grabbed this Maybelline Master Eye Chrome in the shade Gild... Gild... I don't know why I'm studying. In the shade Gilded Rose, and I kind of wanted to outline my crease with this color. I just felt like it was going to pop... Oh my god, you guys, I can't talk. I felt like it was going to add, like, a pop of color and just kind of look really pretty. So, with this part, y'all want to take a deep breath, calm down, make sure you got your tools ready stretch before doing this because this is this is a hard part and I kept messing up and it has just been a journey to do this part because it's so hard to make sure it's as precise as possible okay ready we're ready Alright, so now that we got this going on, I'm just going to go ahead and apply my lashes and apply some black eyeliner. For black eyeliner, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay 24-7 Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And then for lashes, I'm going to be using the new collection from House of Lashes. This is the, um, which color is this in? Lavish from the Noir, Noir Foam Mink Collection from House of Lashes. Go do my face, all that jazz, and then I will be back. To finish off the eyeshadow, do the blush and the highlight and give you guys my final thoughts on this palette. Okay, I went ahead and finished off the eyes and also did my foundation and did my bronzer. Just I literally just smudged some of the back top color underneath my eyes and then also the 
what the fuck color which was the mauve color and the brown color i just smudged it underneath it and then i'm gonna take this eyeliner from urban decay they also sent me um with the package that this backstock palette came with so i do have to state that i did receive these products from urban decay but these are their 24 7 glide on eye pencil this is in the shade alkaline i believe is how you say it. it's like a super beautiful purple it's like a it's like a violety purple it's absolutely stunning so i'm going to use this to tight line and also to apply this onto my waterline just to add some more mauvey purple vibes to the look all right and then last but not least for the inner corner i'm going to take the urban decay afterglow highlighter in the shade aura it's so pretty you guys it's like this beautiful like iridescent pink shade and i felt like that would go perfect in the inner corner and also as the brow bone color look at that oh, oh yes oh yes it's happening all right now we can finish off the makeup look by doing the blush and the highlight so i'm going to dive into the blush side of the back talk palette which is this side over here there are two blushes and then two highlighters these are the highlighters they're super shimmery you guys and then the blushes are matte, except for the purple has a little bit of shimmer. But these are the shades. I will show you guys the swatches and all that good stuff. So I think for the blush, I'm going to take the mauve pink color, which is a double take. Because I feel like the purple probably won't match that well. Oh my god, that was so pigmented. <gasps> okay, okay, no problem, no problem. Calmada, calmada, just blend it out. Ooh. Okay, I'm digging this. That makes my skin look so soft. I can already tell this is probably going to become one of like my go-to blushes in all my videos. Because it is like the perfect color. So, last but not least, there is a little bit of kickback. But last but not least, for the highlight, I'm not really sure which shade to go with. Because this one looks like it's a little bit too dark for me. So, I think I'm going to have to go in with this one. This one is low-key. It's like the rose gold one. So I think the highlight is more on the subtle side. I don't think it's supposed to be like a blinding highlight. I think it's meant to just be kind of more low-key. Oh, wait. <laughs> Dude, I didn't even know. I forgot that the shade name was called low-key. Wow. You guys, I swear that wasn't planned. But, yeah. I'm, like, all happy right now because I made a funny joke. <laughs> no, I think it is meant to be more, like, low-key. It's not supposed to be something, like, intense because I'm not kind of getting that vibe. And I don't want to, like, spray it with any setting spray because I want to see how it works by itself. Hmm. All right, last but not least, I'm going to go in with the lip color to complete this makeup look that I feel like has taken me so long to do. But I really am obsessed with it. I think it's definitely my tones. You guys, I'm so happy. So I'm going to go in with the lipstick Back Talk, which, according to the card that they sent me, is what inspired this whole collection because this is one of their bestseller lipsticks from their Vice collection which is also kind of like in the mauve themed, and I guess this was doing really well. So they wanted to create an eyeshadow palette to match it and also just kind of have some blushes and highlights to go with that mauve look if you want to, you know, do a look revolving this lip color. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it and complete this makeup. I think I want to go on top of it with the back talk lip gloss because I feel like this is a little bit too pink for the makeup looks. I think going in with back talk would be pretty. All right, you guys, I think that completes this makeup look. So overall, I really do like the Back Talk palette. I feel like this is something that I could see myself using on a regular basis, kind of, because these are, like, my tones. I really like mauve tones. Guys, I'm so repetitive. I've been saying this throughout the entire video, but I really do like those tones. That's why I could see myself kind of, like, taking this on a trip with me because I have the blush that I want to use and I have the eyeshadows that I want to use. I would probably just take my own highlighter palette, which I like from Beach Cosmetics, because I don't really like the highlights that much in this palette. Like, it is a pretty highlight, but it's not the type of highlight that I'm genuinely into most of the time. 
But overall, I do think this is a really, really pretty palette and it's something that I would totally recommend to someone and also purchase for someone if it was their birthday or if it was, you know, Christmas or something like that. I feel like this is something that I would definitely purchase for them. I really like it. I wasn't, I don't have any complaints about the pigmentation, nothing like that. I think everything worked really nicely and I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. I mean, this is definitely... You know, something simple, except for the glitter, but I do think this is something, you know, pretty wearable and very feminine and kind of what I was going for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look and enjoyed the review and the swatches and all that stuff. And I just am very, very impressed with the with the palette. So I'll definitely be um, using this in future videos. So stay tuned for more looks using this. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.